Can I just get your name? Catherine. Catherine, there you go. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. While other store owners are closing up entirely, Gareth Davies has figured out how to stay open. We were actually already closed in store for the last month, so there's no immediate change for us. Before the holiday rush, Davies decided to focus exclusively on online orders, a gamble that's paying off ahead of new restrictions. But adapting to closures hasn't been as easy for other businesses. Everything's cleaned up and in four weeks, We'll have to uh, restock everything again. Restaurateur Joe Catronio tried to shift to an all takeout business model during the first lockdown, but couldn't pay the bills. I mean, it's, it's been devastating. Now he's laid off all his staff again. COVID will stop killing people or slowing down and the economy will start killing people if, if it doesn't pick up. COVID-19 spiked in the fall, but recently the capital has kept case counts relatively low. Some people say this is a case of privilege more than luck. This epidemiologist says many Ottawans can work from home. The city is not a major travel hub and doesn't have a lot of apartment housing or overly crowded transit systems. I think we are better positioned to handle a bump now than we were a couple of weeks ago. Now the ICU beds are, are empty. But what we don't have is the capacity to magically create more health care workers. That's part of the reason why the province is keeping the capital under the full 28-day lockdown, at least for now. The Premier also says he's worried about spread from Quebec, though health officials have pushed back, saying Gatineau's infection rate is lower than Ottawa's. Ontario's chief medical officer is tracking the data and will recommend adjustments as necessary. Olivia Stefanovic, CBC News, Ottawa.